it's Wednesday, November 26, 2014, 2, 24, 25 p.m. And uh, this came today. We are so excited. I made this kind of big order because we don't have David's Tea. I live in Canada, but I live in a small town that only pretty much has Tim Hortons and maybe one or two places. Ooh, there's a tea menu. Good, because we'll probably forget what many... Oh, this is... By menu, they mean... Here's our catalog. Be sure to... Uh, no, it's nice. It is a menu. It, it tells you what the teas are. You can check off which ones you have. As you can see, there's white teas, green teas, oolong teas, black teas. I'm ignoring the fact that my husband's just seen the bill. No, I went to collection. Bill. Oh, good. <laughs> there's samples in there, too. Oh, we got samples! Oh, we got samples, guys. We got samples. If you, if you get samples from me, you got samples, samples of organic pure chai. They were like, you didn't buy enough tea, big box. Let's get organic the, pure vanilla. The stickers are for the tin. Midsummer Night Stream. Oh, so the, they're samples and they're sticker. Oh, oh no, the, they're samples. And then <laughs> these are like, these are the coffees you didn't order from us. What the hell is wrong with you? David's tea doesn't have coffee. A tea. As I show coffee pure. Here's the first tea. Because it'll go on the tin. It's coffee puree. I don't know. It's combined with two coffee bean extracts, chocolate, caramel, and almond flavor. Even if your coffee addict friend... Even if you're on... I'm not going to read when I'm not awake. This was my husband's favorite. Jumpy Monkey. Uh, okay. He liked this one for a while. Don't read the stickers. Read Here's, the pieces that come out of the here, contain out of the box because they'll yeah. have all the same names on them. Mango madness. It's fruity. It's refreshing. No, the tins are going to be separate. Uh, it tastes like a ripe piece of mango, and we've got pineapple oolong, which I liked a lot. Buttered rum because I know my husband likes to drink and has to to stay with me. No, I'm kidding. But he likes a little bit of whiskey now and then. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's smiling at that, thank goodness. Carl Speed beat me. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is not the time to kid about that. Domestic violence is horrible, I'm sorry. I'm actually very lucky and he never laid a hand on me. <laughs> he just, uh, we're, we're not making a joke of vi domestic violence, believe me, okay? Because it's no joke. Oh, Canada tea. Apparently, it'll taste like Canada. Hopefully, not like Harper. Red velvet cake. Oh, so it tastes like missing Indigenous peoples, uh, poverty. Uh, free uh, health care. Not quite free anymore. And free health care. With a touch of free health care. And, and oil sands. And it tastes like Alberta tar oil sands. And beaver tail. No, beavers don't even matter anymore. Alberta, the tar, tar sands are ruining our environment and ecosystem. Um, red velvet cake, which I thought maybe my husband might like. I don't know. Um, Coco Canela. It's super chocolatey blend is an homage to Mexican hot chocolate, with it, which is traditionally spiked with cinnamon. I just woke up, guys. That's why I'm blurry. It's sounding blurry. Creme brulee. Me and my husband, we had creme brulee before. And it's neat when you tap the spoon and it cracks it. And then it's all yummy inside. Apparently this is going to be awesome and 100% calorie free. And this was my favorite when I lived in Toronto. The skinny oolong tea. I don't know why it tastes so good. It sounds like it shouldn't because it's for aiding digestion and... But I used to get, like, so energetic from this, didn't I? It was, like, awesome. And then mint chocolate. My husband has a thing for mint chocolate. And pep peppermint chocolate and all that sort of stuff. So he likes that. And then I got this because the big chill. Um, apparently, it's guaranteed to knock you out thanks to a shot of uber common valerian root, which we know... It's a natural thing to help with anxiety. I'm not supposed to mix it with my pharmaceutical industry medications, but I'm thinking 
I would like to do some of that. Okay, so now on to the actual. Oh, look at his wedding band. It shines so bright. It's the ASMR part. <laughs> I have to shut up then. Wait, do, do I look? Do I look? No. You, have you seen the video? I'm just... No, I want, I want, I want, I want you to... Have you seen the video? What you do is... My, my hands are as pretty as yours. I, I don't think they laugh when they do it. Wait. Hold on. No, you gotta be really I, slow. I, I gotta speak in a breathy voice. No, you gotta speak... You have a whispering voice. I don't have one when I wake up. No, that's not... <laughs> that way... Oh, they would have so much fun. No, wait. I'll show you again. Why? No, 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 you're doing... Ah. You should see the look of joy on his face right now. It's ridiculous. No, wait, I want to try one more time. Just wait. Stop. The, the joke is over. It's not a joke. It's real, man. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so maybe I I ordered the filters. Um, I might not have ordered enough from the looks of it. Okay, so... He's gathering up the tea. It's supposed to go in tins. I'm trying to get them all at least some kind of Here's order. one that's blue. Here's one that's blue. Some will have two and some will have three. Or five. Oh yeah, because I knew you liked mint chocolate. I don't care about it, but I thought for you. And I thought of you being able to drink instead of coffee. I thought it would be cheap. The skinny for me, because I'm going to get skinny. Because I'm so fat right now. I'm fat right now. This is my fat, 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 fat right now song. But tea will be good to drink, along with lots of water. Creme brulee is not the same as having a creme brulee. But it sounds like it might be tasty. And David's tea is really tasty. Don't you really like tasty tea? And maybe you should buy David's tea. You can order it online. I'm not sure if they're sent to other countries. But if they do, you're pretty lucky, because then you can't have Dave's tea, unless you have better tea, like traditional tea and otherwise, like where they're getting their ingredients from. It's probably purer than what we are having, and this still looks really good. And I just woke up, I promise you, that I don't generally talk like this. I'm getting really annoying, and my husband isn't telling me to shut up. Because he's pretty nice, but sometimes tells me to shut up, and then he feels kind of embarrassed and haven't said so, but then he doesn't take it back, so then he must have really, really meant it. He's still not telling me to shut up. He's probably thinking this is where... How do you dig your own grave? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was some way to shut me up. Make me think about death. These are the... Oh, these are the fake mugs. I bought one for him because I thought, let's be thoughtful. See, basically, it, it looks sort of like if you're well, carrying it out. But this is the... This is fake. It's not real. And it's reusable. And show the tins you're walking away. These are the tins that will get this... I don't think those tins will hold all the tea. 
but they'll stack nicely. The whole thing. Well, yeah, but not a whole thing at the, just a package at a time. I may have overestimated the um, under. I may have estimated too much the amount of tea that we might require for a while. I thought I'll just get enough to fill the tins for a bit. This is the spoon. I want a spoon with you. <laughs> it's like apparently the perfect amount. Ooh, look at the camera. Ooh. This is apparently the perfect amount of scoop that you would need. Or so they did, so that I would... Oh, and a few more tins. There's your mug. Because your mug was last. No, your mug would be first. And only. Oh! What up, sex reference? make you feel funny inside it smiles pretty right now okay oh and there was this tea that you guys didn't get to hear about eggnog he always buys eggnog it probably adds 20 pounds to his waist and i thought i'd get him eggnog tea oh yummies smell it open it up and smell Open it up yet? It smells. Do you smell it? it I got like it. I got it in a special container so he would feel special, even though the root mint chocolate was made. Oh, um. So, David's Tea Hall. And you know what? I oh, sorry, but my water. They're bad. Um, I could not get. I could not get. Um. There's some sort of membership thing or best or buying thing, and I tried to sign up, and they and I didn't. The website didn't let me sign up as a um, special person or whatever. I don't know what it what kind of thing, you know, that isn't their specific term. And I thought, with this order, doesn't that make me a bit special in some way, like special in the head? Oh, that's terrible. I can't use that. Back that up about two minutes. And then record from here. <laughs> I can't imagine if I kept that in. So I, well, was it its money's worth? I think so, as long as we drink it. Tee So now are you willing to get rid of the coffee machine? Oh. I gave him a task. He likes tasks. He's able to like put stickers on. He'll be he'll be neater at it too. He's just got a good eye for detail on doing tasks like. Goes on top, right? Ha <laughs> Yeah, right over the label. And scene. It's five thirty one, and I'm getting nothing done. Um, I received my order from Hasabanasi. I don't know. How I say it right, so I'm sorry. Press. And uh, I just noticed, like, I ordered a lot of poetry books. And um, I, I had said, um, don't judge me. I live in a poetry wasteland. And I just noticed now. Oh. <laughs> As you saw, I ordered a lot of poetry. Um, and, uh. And they um, gave me a, a um, t-shirt as well as this beautiful just, just beautiful um, I feel very fortunate oh guys I'm still organizing okay I gotta like move and all the books still, but this is the beginning. I didn't tell you it wouldn't still be tacky, but this is the beginning of uh, what I what I'm 
hoping to change. As you can see, I needed the poetry is rearranged, um, and it's going to be moved again because all of these are poetry books. Every single one of those are poetry, so that's going to have to shift everything over. So, like for instance, these three it could probably go over here. But the thing is, is this is also partly my classics shelf, and I haven't even organized to have new books here. And um, but basically, the most important, right? Tolkien and Harry Potter. They're on one shelf now because the shelf's so wide. These are the beginning of classics. Some poetry there only because. Um, finally, my letters and journals and. Um, diaries are on the shelf in a mixture of some biographies and then um, then I've got some of my like um, favorite uh, political like I'm I'm reading this right now but I also got uh, today I got Russell Brand's revolution and then more artsy journaly and stuff and comic-y zombie and then I've got my fantasy here for now. Like, I've got to work on this, right? See, I have to rearrange. And then I decided... I've got more classics here, but these are the old books, as you can see. And, um... So, and these... was was And that's from my sister-in-law. But my Doctor Who is here now. Um, and then some DVDs. Do these things people used to have before downloading. Um, but it's the poetry shelf that is going to be, that needed the biggest help. Like I, I had to move these over here, the Griffin Poetry Prize, the Canadian Best Canadian Poetry and the Best American Poetry Collections because there, there really isn't room um, on my poetry shelf. And I am donating books, just so you know. This this is full, filling, filling. See, I had bought two of these, and that's a bit gratuitous, so I'm going to donate these. So, And yes, I, I did have to give up. Which sounds hypocritical, because we know there's a lot of assholes in classic literature, as I said before, but if I got rid of everybody who's a jerk face, I would have no books left. No, I would have a lot of books left, but I mean, you know what I mean? But it's just too real recent. Um, we, we got, found some paintings that I had from C.D. Brewster. I got them up on the wall because my husband helped me out with that. And now I just got to sort those poetries into that. And we, we got our David's Tea and I'm getting to work on trying to make this a better... I think the zines are going to go there. That's where some are right now. But I've got still some organization to do to be able to get everything properly transferred over. I can hear a train horn. 8.58 p.m. This We did this a lot earlier, but these are the teas we have. They, the t tins come free, but they came in those packages that, oh, just, I can smell them all just being this near. Um, these are the teas. So we have a white tea. We go madness. Mm. Pineapple oolong is one of my favorites. And that one looks like something I definitely want to try. And then I just had this one. Creme brulee. I would love to learn how to make that, says a girl who doesn't even boil an egg. Um, this is, that was one of my favorites when I lived in Toronto. I really loved that one. It tasted amazing. And then this is one of your, okay, and then there's this one, and then this one. And then there are these black teas. I had this one. I thought he might like them. And uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Especially when I'm done with. 
Now I did cut back the tea collection we've got because I'm the one that drinks these so these will be done. I do like my peppermint, it's my favorite. And um, that's our teas. And then the wine is neglected. My cherry whiskey from last year because I don't, I don't, I'm not drinking. In fact, I think somebody's been into my whiskey because I haven't been drinking it so. Um, and this is portal cookie. I gotta make cookies. I want to make them to show that I care. I hope that I don't. Um, I hope I don't mess it up. Um, and just to, I'm gonna do dishes. I've fasted for over 11 days now. Like it's been 11 days and however many hours. Seven o'clock, one hour, and <laughs> these are where we put the extras that aren't in the um, that aren't in the uh, so we can refill, and they're they're loose leaves. So I'm going to go through them quickly because I uh, love tea. I I remember how much I love tea now that I've had it. I haven't even touched. Um, coffee, no, today. So anyway, I, I gotta get to doing the dishes. I've written my 750 words. I've vlogged. Oh, I'll show you something else. I got it for, well, the top one is mostly me, but we both watched Doctor Who, but I loved the Van Gogh episode. Um, Vincent and the Doctor. Matt Smith was a doctor at the time and uh, I love the inspired art from that and I, I just can't wait to uh, put this on the tree. It's a big ornament too so it'll be very nice to have on the tree. I'm not a fan of the Christmas story. I, I mean, I, honestly I've never watched it all the way through. I know it's iconic so uh, of course my husband likes it and I thought you know what I'm not getting him the actual lamp. <laughs> But I'll get him the strings, and we're both Star Wars fans because it was our era of age, being in our mid thirties. So these are strings for the to go on the tree. Our tree is really geeky, or big nerds. Um, and uh, yeah, I better do the dishes. Oh, and this is I really like this. Hmm.